Uh, I'm Sophia Soto with the Nerds of Color, and I just love this film. You guys did such an amazing job. Uh, thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Thank you for having me. Of course. I, I want to first start off by asking you, were there any specific challenges to this project for you? Well, I mean, I just had directed one feature film before this, which was in German. <laughs> so I don't even know where to start with a list of challenges. You know, it's like, okay, working in English, directing a movie star, you know, working with such an experienced cast, but then it goes a long way in terms of COVID hit, you know, we had to stop filming. We had to um, come back filming with its very different protocol and set. So it, it was a constant challenge in many ways, but the great thing is that um, film is teamwork and I was never alone in that journey. So, yeah. I, I, I felt like I was just going on a journey with this film. I felt every emotion in the book. I teared up, I was angry. I felt like the wind got knocked out of me at one big revelation that I sure, I'm sure you knew I'm talking about, uh, but I just want to know there, are, you know, there are also bigger messages in play with this film. Is there anything you personally got from the story? I mean, I learned so much um, also in, re in research when we went uh, into prisons and we spoke with incarcerated women and we spoke with women who are now out but were incarcerated for a long time and to see how hard that is and how women in prison are usually left alone. You know, they don't have a network when they come out. They're like, most of the time, most of the people keep their distance and you leave prison and you're basically set up to fail. That's why 70% go right back in. And um, that is something that I learned and that struck me. And um, it is really worth taking a closer look sometimes before putting a judgment on somebody. But those things are so important to bring a platform to. I'm really glad you guys did that. And, you know, I learned so much about it. And even hearing you speak about the research you did, so, so moving. And I want to know what you also felt like when you watched the finished film, like after all that hard work that everyone put into it, what, what was your reaction? How are you feeling? Well, um, I think that moment still has to come because, you know, when you work on something that long, at some point you just see the details and what works and what doesn't work. So I'm not yet there that I can really sit back and watch the whole film. I think in a year from now, I'll watch it again <laughs> and have a very different experience. Are there any dream projects you have maybe about other important topics like this one that you hope to maybe do something with in the future? Oh, a lot. I mean, I have so many ideas of, for, for movies or themes, you know. I mean, right now, I just had a baby, so it's a little bit time to lay back, focus on family, and let this film come out and see what happens. I can't wait to see what you do, and congrats, by the way. Um, I just also want to ask you, what, what do you hope, you know, what the audience gets from it? I know you kind of spoke about what you learned, but is there anything you hope maybe audiences walk away from with the film? Yeah, I I really hope that they hug their family, sisters, <laughs> brothers, you know, because that that's what it's about, you know, about deep human connection, um, unconditional love, and the question, how far would you go for the ones that you love? Um, but also that they think about forgiveness and second chances and maybe do take a closer look when they see somebody, you know, who, who does not have the benefit with birthright that they have. Thank you so much again for taking the time. Huge congrats on the film. And thank you for giving me such lovely answers. Of course, thank you so much. Great Stay safe, right? Have a good rest of your day. Bye. Bye.